Hey guys, what's up? Jed here. Welcome to another video. I hope you're all having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be plotting coordinates and straight lines. So first things first, what we have in front of us here is called a Cartesian coordinate axis, often referred to as an XY axis. And we're going to learn how to take these coordinates here and plot them on this axis. So first things first, the number to the left in your coordinate represents your x value. And this number tells us where we are going to be along this horizontal line. The number on the right is your y coordinate. And this number tells us where we are going to be vertically. So let's just get into the first one. We're going to plot this coordinate here and we're going to label it A. So my x coordinate is 2 and my y coordinate is 3. I'm going to first begin by locating my x coordinate. So I start at zero and I go to two. So my X coordinate is gonna be here. Still keeping my pen here, I'm gonna look back at my first coordinate, coordinate A, and I'm gonna see the Y value, which is now three, positive three. Well, positive three on the Y axis means I have to go up by three. And this is where my point is going to be, right here. So I'm just gonna put a dot here. You could put a cross if you'd like and I'm gonna label it A. So as you can see, we've gone two into the X axis, two to the right in the X axis and three up into the Y axis. Okay, let's look at coordinate B now. My X value is now negative three. So that means I'm gonna start at zero, go to the left by three, that's where negative three is on the X axis. And then I'm gonna go up by two because as you can see, my Y coordinate is now two. So my B, coordinate should be here. Now we're going to go to C. It is two for the X value. So I'm going to go to the center. I'm going to go two to the right. And then my Y value on the C coordinate is negative three. So I'm going to go down by three. And this is coordinate C. Now let's try D. This one is going to be minus three in the X direction and minus four in the Y direction. So I go to the center, minus three in the X direction and minus four in the y direction, which leads us here. And I'm gonna label this D. And there you have it. That's how you plot coordinates onto an x, y axis. Okay, now we're gonna be plotting straight lines. We have five equations of straight lines to the left-hand side here. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first one. Our first one is y is equal to two. Now, if you ever get an equation like this, where you just have a variable on one side, and a number on the other side. What this means is that no matter what your X value is, your Y value is always going to be two. And what this means is that you're going to have a horizontal line where Y is two. The second equation should be a vertical line where X is always going to be negative two, which is the case. And it looks like this red line here. And this is how you draw straight lines for equations like our first two. Now let's take a look at equation three. Here we have y is equal to two x plus one. Now what's happening between this two and x is a multiplication. So we can read it as y is equal to two multiplied by x plus one. And how you plot this equation out onto the graph is as follows. You first need to choose a few values for x. I'm gonna choose zero, one, and two. Sometimes in the exam, they would have already chosen these values for you, and other times you have to choose them for yourself. If they ask you to choose five values, then you have to input five values. But if they don't specify how many values they'd like you to use, you can just go ahead and use three. The minimum you need to use is two, but it's much safer to use three. Okay, so now how can we use these X values to get the Y values? Well, the equation tells you what to do to get the Y value. It says Y is equal to two times x plus one. So if we take our x value here, zero, and substitute it into this equation, we get the following. Y is equal to two multiplied by zero plus one, which gives us y is equal to one, because two times zero is zero plus one is one. So when x is zero, y is one. And you can repeat this now for the other x values. Let's try it with x is 1. When x is 1, y is equal to 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 1, which is 3. And the y value in x is 2 is going to be 2 multiplied by 2, which is 4, 
plus one, which is five. Now what you have in front of you here are three sets of coordinates. The first coordinate is going to be zero and one. So we can go ahead and plot that on our graph. Zero is gonna be here for the X value. One for the Y value is gonna be here. So our first coordinate is gonna be here. Now for the second coordinate, it's gonna be one and three. So one in the X direction and three in the Y direction. And finally, two and five, two in the X direction, five in the Y direction. Now we have to connect these three coordinates with a line that stretches across our X, Y axis in its entirety. And this line here has the equation Y equals two X plus one. Let's do the same for number four now. So we're gonna pick three values for X. I'm gonna choose zero, one, and two. And just be careful sometimes with the values that you choose. If your values start becoming too high, what you might find is that your coordinates, your Y values go outside of the graph. So if you find this happening, you can just go back and use smaller X values. What's smaller than zero? Negative X values. So let's go ahead and input these into equation number four. So when X is zero, Y is three times zero, which is zero minus four, which gives us negative four. Let's try X is one. Three multiplied by one is three minus four is negative one. And finally, for X is two, three multiplied by two is six. Six minus four is two. And we have our three coordinates. Now we just plot them on the X, Y axis, connect the dots, extend the line, and this is what it looks like. And this is the line with equation Y equals three X minus four. Now let's try plotting equation number five. For equation number five, you have to be very careful. You see, you want to try and avoid getting decimal values for your coordinates as much as possible. And you really wanna be working with whole numbers. Since we're dividing by two, I wanna choose multiples of two for X. So it's gonna look like this, zero, two, and four. And if we input our first value for X into the equation, we end up with Y is equal to zero divided by two, which just gives us zero, minus two, which gives us negative two for Y. And when X is two, Y becomes two over two, which is one, one minus two is negative one. And finally, when X is four, Y is equal to four over two, which is two, minus two, which is zero. Now, if we plot these and connect the coordinates with a line, we end up with this. This is the line that has equation y is equal to x over two minus two. And there you have it. That's how you plot coordinates and straight lines. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've learned something. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you and take care.